In this video, we're going to take a look at reading and displaying image data in MATLAB. MATLAB comes with a built-in function called imread. It can read in standard image file formats such as PNG, JPEG, GIF, GIF, and a couple more. The basic syntax for this function is i equals imread file name. This will read the contents of the image file into the matrix i. As a quick aside, for this course, we will be using ZIF files. The reason for this is that the other formats, and especially JPEGs and GIFs, are compressed. This means that the image data is modified to reduce the size of the file. To give you a quick example, image here on the left is the original uncompressed TIFF image. Image in the middle shows what happens when we compress the file using the JPEG format. Notice that the file size has been reduced, but we pay for it with reduced resolution and the introduction of these blocky artifacts in the image. This basically ruins the image for analysis since the actual image data has been modified by the compression. Now these artifacts appear even more pronounced when we increase the level of compression. You can see here that the image looks very pixelated. So remember to only use uncompressed images when exporting images for analysis. All right, back to reading in images. Let's start by reading in an example image that is shipped with MATLAB named 83 underscore 1m4 underscore 01.tiff, which looks like a microscope image. Now feel free to follow along at home. Let's switch over to MATLAB. Now as I mentioned earlier, to read in the image, the command is i equals imread and then the file name, which in this case here is at3 underscore 1m4 underscore 01.tif. And remember that the file name here has to be a string, so you have to enclose these in apostrophes. And I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of this command because the image is large and we don't want to display all its contents in the command window. So I'm going to run this command and notice that the variable i has been created in the workspace. Now it has a class here of uint8, which stands for an 8-bit unsigned integer. To display this image, we can use the function imshow, which takes in the matrix i as its first argument. This will display the data in i as an image. Let's go ahead and do this. You should hopefully see a new figure window appear with the image. All right, there are a couple of things I want to show you. So let me zoom in on the figure window. All right. First, we can use the data tip tool in the figure window to inspect the values of the image. I'm going to hover over the image to bring up the toolbar and click a data tip, which is the second icon from the left. And I'm going to click somewhere in the image and you can see that this tooltip appears. And the important property here is the index, which is 64. And this index tells us the value of this pixel in the image. Now you can see that as I drag this tooltip around, if I hover over the dark, edge of this image, you'll see that this index value drops. Now it's at 49. But if I hover over a brighter pixel, you can see that this index value increases. Here it's 153. Now one other thing to note, the orientation of the image matches the orientation of the matrix in MATLAB, with the first element, that is the element in row one, column one, appearing in the top left corner of the image. And you can see this, when we drag the tooltip to the top left corner, you'll see the x, y and coordinates are 1, 1. Now another piece of information that you need to know is that the x coordinate is the horizontal axis of the image. But if you think about the orientation of the matrix, the horizontal axis is the column. Okay, so the x coordinate here specifies the column of the matrix and the y coordinate specifies the row. So what does this mean? Let's say I pick a random pixel Let's say x equals 270 and y equals 171. Let me switch back to the full screen view. And I'm going to dock this image just so we can get a better view of the command window. Okay. Now imagine if I wanted to access the element of this matrix specified as a pixel here. I could use subscript indexing. So it would be i, open parentheses. But now I have to flip X and Y component, all right? And what I mean by that is that 171 here is the Y, which is the row. And remember that in, Mat in MATLAB subscript indexing, 
the row comes first. So this would be 171, comma, and then the column here is the x value, which is 270. You can see that we get a value of 67, which is what we have here in the tooltip. Now, one more thing I'd like to show you. Now, the last time we read in the image, MATLAB was able to read it in without needing us to specify the file path. This is because the image was shipped with MATLAB, and so it was already in the MATLAB search path. But let's quickly take a look at what happens if you have an image that did not come with MATLAB. So I'm going to use this file here, which I downloaded from the National Cancer Institute as an example. Okay, so if the file is in the current folder, you can tell that that's there because it's in the current folder panel. Then we can use the same command as we did earlier and simply say i equals imread nci-image.png. Okay. But now let me create a new folder and call it images. I'm going to move this image file into that folder. Okay. So now going back out, you'll see that the image is no longer in the current folder, in the subfolder. All right. So let me create the variables and the command window. Now, if we try to run that same command and just run i equals im read nci image, MATLAB will throw an error because it can no longer find that file. All right, so if this happens, you now have to specify the full path name. And you can do that in two ways. You can use relative uh, paths. Since this is a subfolder of our current folder, we can then go im read images slash nci image dot png. That'll work. Alternatively, if your file was in a completely different folder, you could specify the full path name. Um, in this case here, I'm just going to show you the same example, um, but with the full path, which is in my D drive in the folder fall 2020, the command should be i equals i am read D drive uh, fall 2020 slash images. Oops slash nci image.png and this second command also works okay and we can now view our image using imshow 